We're here today at 145 Balbon in Stratford, Connecticut. This is my open house, my condo, and I'm just going to quickly show you around some of it, I guess, while we're waiting for some people to arrive. We've had a couple show up so far, but we need a lot more. This place is absolutely stunning. Everything's been done, stainless steel in the kitchen, totally open to the family room space here, which I absolutely love. This is the type of stuff people really, really enjoy, is to have an open space to entertain. Fireplace, and then of course there's a walkout over here to the deck. So is today the day? I'm selling it today. That's my plan. Why don't you come on down and buy it, right? Uh, over across the way is the master suite, or the primary bedroom, I guess we have this. Downstairs, lower level, it's basically like a house. I know people call these condos, but this one feels like a house. Why? Because we opened it up to the basement, to the lower level. Look, nice, right? So, $400. $38,000 gets you this condo. Know anybody? Maybe you? Come on down. I'll show you around. I already had a couple people come through, but I need more. I want to sell this place today. It's been on the market for a little over two months, and the market shifted pretty significantly, especially as we saw the Fed continue to raise rates. People got freaked out. Now, why would people get freaked out by the rates raising? Well, for a few reasons, but most importantly, anybody who locked into a lower rate during the pandemic has no interest in selling their home because they're at a 3% or 4%. Well, moving right in and not having to worry about anything is always the best thing you could ever do. Uh, the, the refrigerator thing is really a major thing. We, we are so used to having... Um, but that's actually even... Nice even that, you know, we have other projects coming up. So they could theoretically take this one out and just order one with an ice maker for you okay. and just have that be a switch out, you know? So I'd consider that not being a necessarily a big, and all big the issue. Windows will have, um... Yes, all the windows and there'll be verticals on the doors. Oh. So it's gonna be, and they're wood, it's gonna be nice looking, you know, the, yeah, the white, white wood, so it should be very nice. Hello, how are you? Hello, good, thank you, how are you? Good, good, come on in. Oh, yep, I saw, I saw your note earlier. Thanks yeah. for coming by. Sure. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. I'll share a couple quick things. Uh, this unit, one of the things you'll see here that you probably won't see at others is they opened up this kitchen, which is a bigger endeavor. You have to put the beam into the ceiling here to do that, and then opening up to, this, to the lower level, because this is intended to feel more like a home and not like a condo. So you'll see that as you go through. There's one bedroom up, one down. And both bathrooms are stunning, which is another thing you probably won't see. You'll see one beautiful, and then there's one like, mm, you know? Yeah. But they really went overboard here. They've eight and build homes in New Canaan, and Greenwich, Darien, and Westport. So they thought, let's bring that to Orinoke. So the vibe here should feel like what you'd see in a super high-end condo. And unfortunately, they finished, and the market, you know, the Fed, great. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but... We, we adjusted when that happened just because we, you know, reflecting the market is important. We don't want to, so we brought our price to what we think is extremely aggressive and uh, hopefully you guys appreciate what you see. Absolutely. Let me get out of your way a little over here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I work with uh, Berkshire Hathaway, Mark Pyers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Who are you working with? What firm? I didn't sign on my own yet. Oh, really? Trying to figure it out? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I want to stay in Boston. Oh. I go to school there. I go to Curry. Oh, cool. So I'm not sure what I'm really doing yet. I'm trying to figure it out. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Interesting time to get in, you yes, know? Definitely. I got in in 07, right when the crash happened. Uh -huh. And I walked into my first office, and, and one of the guys was like frantic. He goes, What are you doing? We're all leaving. I was like, I'm going to learn the business while it's bad, and then yeah. when it gets good. So I think it's going to turn quickly, though, so hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Thanks for coming by. Of course. Open house, you doing it? I hope it feels like it would be too small for us, basically. We want to downsize. Yeah, this is actually a great size. I love it. 
you know, the, the, what's nice is you have the lower level, so yeah, you could always lower, entertain. Lower level would be, would be perfect. I mean, the, the other thing that's going to be nice is when the blinds go in on Thursday. Oh, oh, the they're whole place. On Thursday? Yeah, so the whole place is going to be more private. Yeah, right yeah. now you're seeing everything. Now, Absolutely. The one thing I could say too that I, I, I feel about this unit specifically is because we're doing two more. But I met someone coming, he's doing two. No one's putting quality like this into the ones that are coming. I don't think they're putting all of this into the next one because we're not getting paid for all of this. We did it when the market was still here before. So we're someone benefits. Uh, uh, one of them's on north on the opposite side, the other one's on Osage, which is right on the golf course. Oh, Osage. And that one's going to be really nice, but it's going to probably be in, I would say, high fives, low six, because yeah. it's going to be like this, but on the golf course, you know. That means, you know, we don't really care about the golf course. That's not, you know. Yeah, the amenities and having a nice place that you don't have to do anything in is kind of a big positive here, it you know. It is a big positive for me. And the only thing, because we have someone circling, the only thing that needs to be done at some point is the, the boiler mechanicals in the basement. Yeah, yeah. Because they're working fine, the plumber said they're fine. Yeah, yeah. $6,500 I have a quote, at some point, five years, 10 years, you're gonna have to replace those. Yeah. That's the only thing this whole place needs. Yeah, yeah, everything else is stunning, plus the blinds is about 4,000. Yeah. Are you gonna have another open house? I hope to sell it today, we'll see. You know, I have, we have someone who, just totally transparent, somebody came in, they put an offer in, and then their deal fell through on their place, so they backed out. But he sent me a message last night, he said we have another deal, and they loved the place, and they were like, basically taking it off our hands. Yeah. And so I'm hoping they come back, because it was supposed to be quick and easy, and they just had their deal fall through, so. Um, I would say the window's closing, but I also would say not just that. This week, I've had more people through this week than I did the whole entire term. Oh, really? Yeah, so people are starting to think to themselves, yeah, I know what's happening, but it's not going to change. I got to live my life, and there's only like nine units on this entire place, yeah. so. Yeah. Well, I'll go home and talk some more. Work, work on them a little. Uh, you have my card, right? Let me yes, get... I do have your okay. card. I have like, everything for Perfect. Me. Call me. Hi. Call me if you have any Hi. questions. Hi. Mark, Mark. Hi. I have a brother named Mike, though, so that's okay. okay. My husband is Mike. Okay. Yeah, but feel free, if you have any other questions or if he wants to talk up any ideas at all, feel free to ring me. I'm around. Thank all right, you. pleasure to see you. So we're still here. So we have a showing. Had about four people through so far. And the lady that was just here was super nice. Let me see, she was on this list because she was here. Master suite, master bath, closet, master shoe racks. Lots of closet space, pull outs. The master bathroom here, absolutely stunning. This is a beautiful walk in shower, awesome floor. Those are each stone was put in here. Look at this glass door. It's really, really nice, you know? So. Let me show you the rest. And here into your master bedroom. What I love about this is it's tucked away on the other side of the unit. You have your fan. Got some natural lighting coming in the back. And if you want to, you can set an additional set of closets along either side of the master suite or even on both sides. So you have a ton of closet space. TV on the wall. Should we take a look at the lower level? This lower level, absolutely stunning. You got a family space over here, watch some TV, couple couches, storage. Got a bathroom, I'll show you that in a second. Over here, this is your mudroom as you come in from the garage or from the back parking area. This is a big parking lot back here where all the units kind of meet up. And as you see over here, one more bedroom. This place is awesome. Got a garage right behind you. And of course, right here, 
you got to walk out right over here as well. So let's see, should I show you the bathroom? You guys should at least see the bathroom. I think it's really nicely done. So in here we have an absolutely stunning bathroom, beautiful walk-in shower, nice vanity here, and just a nice second bathroom. Most people in these units do one really nice bathroom and then they always kind of just put in an eh bathroom on the second bath, but here both bathrooms are stunning. So that's basically the unit. The only thing I can show you is the clubhouses, the pools, that type of thing, but we're in the middle of winter right now. Those things aren't really gonna be too appealing, except you could go to the clubhouse, I guess, and play some Mahjong. Anyway, this is what we got here. What do you think? Looks like we're here at my newest listing in Stratford, Connecticut. This is 145 Balbone. I'm here for an open house right now. And we had a couple people come through already. I'm hoping to see a few more. This place is absolutely stunning, as you can see. Totally complete. All you have is a coffee at a place and a lens cover. But that's because I'm here doing it. You know, I'm the host of the longest running daily show on earth, 1,488 days in a row. And I'll be live later on to write some songs for you. Hey.